That's it. as you would expect. Sanchez can shoot from here. My word, he's hit that one. And that's totally ripped it past Shea Gibbon. Alexis Sanchez at Wembley again. What is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 16 play review and today we are going to be looking at a card that's come a little bit out of the blue. I think EA caught a lot of people off guard with this. They basically have released international position change cards to celebrate seven years of FIFA Ultimate Team and today we are going to be looking at one of the highlights out of the cards in my opinion and that is striker Alexis Sanchez. If you do enjoy this video lads, find it useful, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. If we can get this over 25 likes, that would be amazing. Subscribe as well to become a part of the Ninja Nation and comments and feedback always appreciated appreciated in the comment section down below. Also on a side note we will be streaming live on Twitch again tonight hopefully around the same time as we were yesterday yesterday, about half past seven. I will put a link to the Twitch in the description down below as well but without any further ado Alexis Sanchez at Striker Lads stands at five foot seven Four star skill moves, three star weak foot, high high work rates, and his price bands are between 31k and 600k on Xbox right now. He's currently going for around the 140k mark. And look at his base cards and in game stats. His base card, well, all of his stats remain exactly the same as his regular left winger card. The main thing being that he's changed to a striker, of course. That means 87 pace, 88 dribbling, 83 shooting, 78 passing, 73 physical, and 13 on defending. And his top five stats, of course, remain the same 91 agility, 89 acceleration, 88 dribbling. 87 balance and 87 ball control. He's also got the dribbler, acrobat, flair and technical dribbler traits and specialities. And uh, on a side note lads, if you were wondering, his finishing stat is 85 so it really does lend itself nicely to being a striker. But the team that we used him in was a 4-3-3 flat out BPL team, Sanchez at striker. We've got a turbo at right wing, a uh, Depay at left wing, a pretty boring standard BPL team to be honest. And you can see in the five games that we played, Alexis Sanchez at striker went ahead and got nine goals which is not a bad return whatsoever. And as we start to roll some of the goals and clips now this card is amazing lads we're going to talk about the negatives first because there are just so few the two that i really found with him one aerial presence which is something that you're obviously going to be expecting he's not going to be winning any headers when you're whipping the ball in as a striker and the second thing is work rates which again weren't too bad really his work rates are high high you did find him sometimes being a bit too defensive but of course he can correct that with the use of instructions and still a lot of the time it didn't seem to be too much of a problem but like i say it is a negative because a couple of times i did just find him sitting back a little bit but positives lads where do we start the card's movement is exceptional when he is in the right place he makes incredible runs his dribbling and balance and agility are all absolutely incredible he just seems to stay on his feet even though he's not got well his strength isn't bad but it's just counted it's made even better by the fact that his balance is just so so good because people will shove him and he just seems to stay on his feet and just carry on bundling on through his finesse shot when you get through on goal is also incredible his finishing is decent power shots for me were sort of 75 percent of the time the mark go in but finesse shots for me were absolutely on point anywhere in the box if i did a finesse shot it just seemed to always find its way into the back of the net and like i say lads as a striker, this card is absolutely amazing. He had a striker card last year that was an inborn that played really, really well. And this card feels very, very similar to it in my opinion. Just fantastic movement, incredible pace, dribbling, really, really good finishing as well. And in my opinion, lads, this is now one of, if not the best striker in the BPL for me. A lot of people will say Aguero maybe, or perhaps Diego Costa, but for me, this card plays better than both of them. And like I say, if, if not, he's definitely up there as being the best striker in the BPL. Overall, lads, we're going to be giving him a 9 out of 10. Like I just mentioned, his only negative is really the fact that he's not going to be winning anything in the air for you. And the fact that he sometimes can find himself a bit deep because of his work rates. But positives, his finishing, his movement, his pace, his balance, his finesse shots. He's even got a decent free kick, which I didn't put in there. And his strength as well is also semi-decent, which isn't pretty close to being a positive but like I said at the start lads if you did enjoy this play review make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it hopefully I'll see you all in the stream later on today and if not I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video lads have a great day I'll speak to you later Nidge out Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.